Hello everybody and welcome to Into the Emberlands. Now this is a game by Tiny Raw and published by Daedalic. Thank you very much for the super special secret access to the game uh, prior to the demo release in a few days time, which will be in time for the start of next fest. Okay, so let's get in here and have a little look. This is a game all about uh, rescuing your fellows from the miasma. Yes, it is another game. With Miasma, 2024 is the year of Miasma for this channel. So let's uh, get in there and have a little look what we're going to be dealing with. So we've got a little cute little guy, cute little blue guy. You could also have a cute little green guy, or a cute little yellow guy, or a cute little other yellow guy. Orange guy and a yellow guy, I guess. The stubborn, the determined, and the fanatic. So I don't know like how we unlock these, and uh, I'm not sure that we do find out in the demo, but I'm guessing that these skins will be unlockable in the main game when it does come out. And it looks like you can maybe nab yourself a companion to float alongside you as well. Beautiful. Okay, so actually let's... Choose the light bearer. New journey, light bearer. How do I play? Ah, oh, there we are. We had to. Oh, I had the platypus on. That's why. Silly me. I had the platypus on, so it was like you cannot start with the platypus. You it is locked. You are not allowed. Which is fair. Right. So we are in. I've got a coin girdle apparently and I need to choose the tile, left click and then you can move around, grab your lantern and start exploring less talky more Dewey. Sounds good. So that about sums it up. So that's why we need light bearers to help us rebuild our village. We're so thankful you volunteered to become a light bearer. You're a lifesaver. Let's get to it then, shall we? There are plenty of lost ones out there waiting to be rescued by you. Okay, that sounded dramatic, but... It kind of is. Please pick up the lantern next to me, then we can proceed. Okay, let's go. Lantern. There we are. The ember lantern, an ancient relic that keeps the miasma away. Make sure not to run out of ember. Looking good, light bearer. I mean, with the lantern and stuff. But dangling an ember lantern into the miasma will get you nowhere if you don't know how to use it. Head to the eldest. He'll be excited to see you rocking that lantern. All right, then, eldest. Let's go over to you. Look at you, child. You're shining as bright as our village's ember tower. The ember lantern pushes back the miasma outside the village. You can now freely explore the ember lands. As long as your lantern has ember charges left at least, every step outside the village will drain it. Just outside the village, there should be a windmill. See if you can navigate towards it. I can see some legs over there. So is, is that it? Yep. Okay. Did you find it? Splendid! Check your lantern, it should have lost charges. Step outside, one step out the village costs one ember. If you run out of ember, the miasma will close around you and you'll become lost as well. Return to me, child. Yeah, so you're not allowed to run out. Or it will eat you. Did a small playtest where we did run out of uh, ember and what happens is you don't lose much in the way of progress of your village and stuff. But what you do lose is your inventory items and sort of progress on anything you're working on and anyone that was following you. So just in case you wondered. Uh, let's have a little look at this guy. <sighs> Sorry, all that shouting was quite a lot for an old bean like me. So your lantern lost charges outside the village. Check your lantern again. It's filled. When you're inside the blessed light of the ember tower, your lantern will be recharged. So make sure to return in time. Since you understood the power and limitations of the Ember Lantern, talk to the Keeper. He has a surprise for you. Let's go talk to the Keeper. Took you long enough. Give me the Lantern real quick. There you go. I upgraded the Lantern. It can now hold even more Ember than before. Out there you'll find other ways to upgrade the Lantern. But once its light, go once its light goes out, all of your progress is lost. As are you. Cheer up, mate. Could you head to the guard? We gave him a task a while ago, but it seems like he's struggling. All right, then. Hello, guard. Hey, light bearer. Congrats. You have the privilege of working for me. See that vending machine over there? Yeah, pretty odd, but that's not the point. It is broken. 
I would fix it myself. But then who would guard the village from evil things and stuff? I already have a rock, but I need other stuff as well. So find it so we can fix this. You probably need something to store all that crap. Take my backpack. It's killing my back anyway. You're a naughty, naughty guard using that language with me. Honestly. <laughs> it's not the biggest backpack out there, but it's all about how you use it. Now go on and make sure not to get lost out there. Otherwise, I'll have to go out there myself. Right. Two wood. Doesn't look like we have any tree chopping stuff. So let's go and get some wood from off the ground like a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> and try not to run out of uh, run out of charges while I'm doing it. So each square that you go down, the, these squares, each one of these squares equals one uh, lantern power. So you can't go more than fifteen squares away before you go back 15 squares and you can literally be right by the edge of the village and it still would be like nope <laughs> you're one step away I've I've died with one step away it's terrible uh you have to find our previous light bearer out there in the menacing miasma okay but first I will fix the vending machine because that is what I have actually been asked to do all right then guard you made it! I mean, you made it! Yay! You got all the needed parts. Now, go on, fix that vending machine. I do it myself, but as you can see, I'm kind of busy and quite the big deal. You're quite annoying with what you are. Perfect! I should praise you, but it was mostly my delegating that got us here. I heard the eldest wanted to talk to you. Oh good, the eldest is at least polite. Alright then, eldest. What are we doing now? Light bearer, I heard about your most recent exploits. These vending machines offer plenty of odd yet practical items, and I'm actually in need of one. Would you be so kind and fetch me some scrap? Here's some change. I attached it to a string, so you don't lose it. Alright then. Good job I fixed that vending machine then, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's take that back. All right, Elder, I got you your scrap. Thank you so much, child. Here, take my old axe. You'll need it for your next task. Right now, our top priority is to repair the tools workshop so we can provide you with more tools. For that, however, we need more scrap and wood. Luckily, wood does grow on trees. Sorry for the eldest joke. It's like a dad joke, only older. The axe might have seen better days, but it should still have enough teeth to chop down a tree. To cut the tree, you have to select the axe from your backpack with the left click button and select the tree to shop. Let's go pick up all this wood. Go back to the elder. The elder seems very happy with all that wood I picked up. Excellent! Or eldest, sorry. Excellent. Combined with the scrap I had stored away, we now have enough materials to repair the tool shed. Keep the axe. In case it breaks, don't worry. We can now supply you with new tools on a regular basis. Ah. Oh. Good as new. Now you can pick up tools uh, from the storage whenever you need them. Whenever there's a new adventure, I think it was. An adventure awaits already. Okay, well that means I get new tools already, does it? Yeah! A pickaxe and an axe with two charges. It's time, go out there and fulfill your destiny. Save the lost Nax. Watch for smoke in the distance. The lost Nax will probably try their best to get found. Also, look at your compass on the top right of the screen. The small dots indicate where it can sense Nax. That small dot there. Now go out there and rescue our lost Nax. So we will go in the direction the compass is telling us. See if we get see. Oh, yep, there we are. Some smoke over here. Ah, the freezing cold, shivering, very unhappy looking knack there. Are you real? Is that an ember lantern? I was sent out before to rescue others like me, like you. Lead on, my friend. Guide me back to our home, and I shall reward you with all I have left on me. 
So these guys generally give you a little bit of um, ember to help you get home, which is quite nice of them. It seems you are truly suited to be our next light bearer. Please go to the keeper and introduce our new guest. Thanks, eldest. I shall do that. Keeper, here we are. Ah, welcome to the village, lost one. We have a house waiting for you so you can move in and feel comfortable. I might need a little sprucing up, but I'm sure that the light bearer will be able to help with that. Of course I will. <laughs> At least I don't have to build it from scratch. What do we need? One more rock and two more wood. Okay, well I happen to have enough tools to do that one. Go and grab that rock there. Head back around this way and grab that piece of wood. And then I'll chop one down as well. Because if there's one free on the ground, then I may as well grab it. And we will build the house. Lovely. It's home. So different, yet so familiar. I will make myself useful after some rest, that is. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go talk to the keeper. Thanks to you, we've been able to take our village to the next level. Everything you've done so far has immortalised you as the light bearer and allowed us to expand our home, level up the village. Go, Keep going to unlock more buildings that can help you during your journey. Okay. The tower has fallen weak. It's like barely keeping the miasma away. But it's going to get stronger. Okay, so next level village looks like this. So we've still got the house. And we've still got the tool shed. But now we also have a metro station. And it looks like we've got a, a hardware store next to the vending machine down there. So let's have a look. Oh, it actually says up here, doesn't it? Uh, rescue two villagers, three wood. Rescue one villager, two wood. And the lonely knack wants two rocks. Okay, well, let's have a have a chat to you then, shall we? That sounds like an easier first first thing to do, doesn't it? This villager looks a little lonely. Perhaps he needs a friend. Aww. Well, let's see if we can buy some rocks for you, shall we? Oh dear, I'm not seeing a ton of them. I can see some, some lost knacks. I'll go get those in a minute. Yeah, are there any rocks around anywhere? This appears to be a rather forested area. Um, how about where we used to have the... Well, I suppose I should see if I can pick up my tools actually as well. Look at all these trolls. Yeah, let's go and look where we found the the, the last villager. And there, there was some like... Oh, let's not go this way. Okay. There was some rock over there, wasn't there? Unless this is... Oh, I see. It doesn't look the same at all, does it now? Oh, is this procedurally generated stuff? If it is, then there's no guarantee of getting rock, is there? Yeah. Let's check with the vending machine. Oh, I don't have any money for the vending machine though. Uh We definitely do need to go and find some stone, but this is a this is a bit worrying, isn't it? Like really? I 
they certainly shouldn't have to walk this far just to find stone. My axe has run out. Oh look, these have coins. So maybe if I collect enough of these, I could maybe get some... I could maybe buy some stone from the vending machine. Oh, there's a stone. Okay. Let's see if I can get a second stone from the vending machine then. What I'm going to do with my pickaxes then. Can we get one? Yes, we can. Lovely. Okay, so that's the, the lost villager done. The lonely knack. got two woods so let's see if we can find a villager i'd rather not get the two together i think there was one over here somewhere i'm sure i saw one whether i can get to him or not is another matter oh yeah i can i totally can and there were two like over there hi you can work in the hardware store Troll grumbled at us. Right then, so it's the hardware store we want first, and then we'll try the metro station. Wow. Lovely. So we had to go a little bit out of our way to get the rocks there, but, you know, we worked it out. So, rescued villager... Wood three. Okay, so actually I'm gonna. No, actually I'm not, because maybe I'll need to use it to. How do I? Oh, there we are. Well, I know I saw a couple of villagers to rescue over here, so if I can get both of them at once, that would be great. I'm sure there were two right next to each other. Yeah, there's like three there. Wow! Exciting! You can sometimes get a few at once. Got like 30 ember for that. Wow! That's insane. Well, let's get these guys back. And I need to get uh, two more wood as well. We need one more wood. How are we going to do that? Well, let's go to the hardware store and see if we can buy another axe. Right. Lovely stuff. Let's go get the metro station done. That's our last uh, one for this village, I think. For this village level. Oh, no. Sorry, I need to get more wood. Let's just get that. I forgot I hadn't done that bit. There we are. Metro station is working. Returns you back to the last metro station you used. Okay. So I'm guessing you might need more than one of those for that to really be too useful. So does this mean we get to upgrade again? Because we did all the quests. It does, yes. Okay. So I have leveled up. My village is growing. Now we've got more to do. We need to get a crystallized ember. Now those, um, those trolls had something in their backpacks that might have been something like crystallized ember. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. We've got loads of these. Look. They're all clustered in tiny... Uh, let me just cut that. Wonderful. And we've got rocks back now, which is great. So let's take some of these rocks away. Then I can go and repair the inn. And then if I get another two rocks and another two wood, I can repair the house because I've got a little I got a little conga line going here. The inn there? Okay, the defunct village inn would be a great refuge for many lost ones. Bring any lost knacks back here so they can rest and take it easy and also earn some coins. Nice. I see. But can I get that rescued villager back? No. Oh, I see. So I'm basically selling the rescued villager. Oh, that's a shame. I kind of needed that for the house. So I'll have to get another one. Oops. Sometimes they're really easy to find. Sometimes they take ages to find. Iron axe. I mean, they can't put them too far away, because if they do, then it's like, okay, it's a bit difficult for me to find them, doesn't it? Um, I need to head back to the village, I think, there. a bit more stone at least. Another axe. Okay, well. Um, didn't do so well at finding that other lost villager, did I? Let's see what's up this way. I need ones that are not as far away. one. I want to leave some for the way back as well. I'm having to go quite far out here. I see it. Which I hope I can get back okay from this. Usually they give me some return juice, so let's get that one as well, because that's only one square away. less than 22 squares away but there's there's a five square top up okay, I'm going straight through here I think that should be easily achievable they'll start to give you a countdown as you get towards 10 it's like ah to worry so I need two wood to rock oh I've actually got plenty from that little jaunt so that's great uh, what is it it's, it's not the cult building it's the house it's a house it's a 
behind there? Yeah, repair house. So that's two out of four done. Lovely stuff. And a house. It's just like where they live. I don't know what real benefit you get from a house. The elder. Oh, right, okay, with like rocks and wood. And in return, we'll give you some extra land and power. Fantastic. And then I need six wood for the, uh, to upgrade. Okay, I think I should go and get another axe from this guy. And just chop down some wood and do the tool shed. Sometimes when I go to collect things, it kind of interferes with the music. I'm hoping that's something that will kind of fix up in time for uh, the, the either the demo coming out itself. Uh, they may be watching this to see what things they need to fix for the demo coming out. Also, if they could fix it in time for the next, for the proper, the proper game, that would be quite nice too. So that's a cult building and I need a shard for that. Crystallized ember. So what was I doing? Ah, oh, yeah, we were upgrading this, were we? Yes. Oh, the tool shed. Pick up some tar starter tools. I don't want to pick them up at the moment because my inventory is way too full. Okay. Upgrade the tool shed. Maybe we'll get better tools from that. I kind of want to get rid of this pickaxe. I feel like it's a bit in the way right now. It's a bit better. My bag is very, 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 very full. There's a crystal bag. Oh, right. Christ ember crystals. Ah, so you'll give me an ember crystal and two coins in return for eight wood. Okay, well, we can start with two wood here. And two there. Pick those up, and then I'll head back and top my lantern up. Do so you need to stay on top of that lantern? And then we can, like, maybe see about picking up either lanterns around the place or just these these things. Quite often they give wood or coins that you can exchange with the vending machine. Uh, that's one wood. One stone. There's an axe around there. Right, I'm running out of pink things. Oh, hang on. Accept. So I do probably need to come back towards the town. So I don't run out of ember. Uh -huh. So let's use that for another two. Oh, look, there's another axe right there. How handy. So that should be enough to... Do the crystallized embers. Lovely. Oh no, I've already got eight. Perfect. Um, we could get to that guy over there, couldn't we? get the, that for an extra five uh, movement and then we'll get the cult building fixed I kind of 
imagine this could be quite good as a board game, actually. You know that. So the tool shed is upgraded as well. Wonderful. That's really cool. What does that mean for us? That the tool shed is upgraded. I'm guessing it gives us better tools. So now we do the cult building. And we get an ember clock cult. The labor of these cultist devotions provides you with three upgrades. So we can either have a lantern upgrade, an inventory increase by one slot. That would be so useful. So now we've got six instead of five slots on the inventory. Massively useful. It means you can carry an extra tool with us. Okay, so are we done with all of the... Yes, we are. We are done with all of the quests there. So let's have a little look at see if we can upgrade. Hey, I did it! You managed to restore your village back to its former glory and beyond. Make sure to come back for the full adventure and journey into even stranger biomes and meet new friends in 2024. Join our Discord to stay up to date and help influence the game's development. Oh, play the full game with even more biomes and skins and pets. So yeah, everyone jump on their Discord and, and follow them and we can play more of this game. It's actually super, super fun and I'd be really interested to see how it develops. So anyway, that's going to be it for me for this one. It's a little bit short, but just be warned over the next week. There's going to be longer ones and shorter ones and this ones and that ones because it's going to be next fest coming up and getting demos. So many demos coming out. Echoes of the Plum Grove is now finished. So we've done that. Um, I've probably got one more sand rock to do. We finished the Critter Cove demo. So I'm really just looking for new and wonderful things to do. So we're going to do demos until the next new and wonderful thing that I want to play comes out. If you've got any suggestions, do let me know as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to see more demos this week, then please do subscribe. I can let you know when those uh, videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.